This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today, we're gonna be going all over the place. We're gonna be underwater with the turtles swimming around. Uh, maybe we'll also see some dolphins jumping around. We're definitely gonna be seeing some flowers and definitely some wind on top of all that. Today, we're looking at a sort of an abstract family strategy game called Lattice. And in this game, it's a tile laying game where you're trying to run out of tiles. It plays for two to four players and plays in 30 minutes or less, usually less. Let me show you how it's played. I'll see you on the other side. In Lattice, you're trying to be the first person to use up and finish all your tiles and place them on the board. There's a total of 84 tiles in the game. Those will get split up equally among the amount of players depending on how many we're playing. In this case, we're playing a four player game. So there's 21 tiles that are put into a private pool and shuffled next to a person. And then they draw five of those tiles to put in their, uh, their holder there. At the beginning of the game, someone's gonna be the first player and they're gonna simply just place a tile right in the middle and then they will draw back up to five and that's the next player's turn. Now, when tiles get placed, there's just a couple rules you need to follow. Number one, it has to be adjacent to another tile. It cannot be just diagonal out here out in the way. It can't be out here in the middle of nowhere. It has to be next to, up, down, left, or right of another tile. And it has to be either the same color or it has to be the same uh, logo, and it could be both. Maybe a few moves later the board looks like this. On your turn, you may be able to play a wind tile. What happens is this wind tile gets discarded face up next to the board. This allows you to move any tile up, down, left, or right into an open adjacent area that doesn't have a tile. So I could move this one there, then you get another turn. So you could do that and then place this. Now, anytime that you place something that matches in, in, in at least two areas, you'll get something special. So if you match two, you'll get basically a half stone to put in front of you. I'll tell you what these do later. If you're able to match it where it was, if this one was just placed there now, it does three of them, you would get a full sunstone. And if somehow you're able to get it, so when you place it, it matches all four, that's a lattice, and you'd get two sunstones. So what do these sunstones do? Well, on your turn, you can turn in a full sunstone or two half sunstones to do an extra move. So at the end of your turn, you can turn this in and you can place another tile. That's cool. Uh, also, if you place a tile right on one of these suns, you also get a sunstone. Now you can also trade in at the end of your turn, three sunstones to get any open or used wind tile from the discard pile. Of course, making sure that you have room to do so. Then of course, at the end of your turn, like normal, you're gonna draw back up to five tiles from your pool. Also, at the end of your turn, you cannot have more than three of these sunstones. You have to discard down the three, so you might as well use them and try to get some of these wind tiles back as you go on. Now, during your turn, instead of placing a tile, maybe you can't or you don't want to place a tile this turn. Instead, you can exchange tiles. And here I could take any amount of these and put them face down into my pool and take new ones back out. That would be my turn. Now, towards the end of the game, in rare circumstances, you can't place a tile, there's nothing to exchange, and you must just pass. This continues until someone has nothing left in their pool. They only have one tile left, and they place their last, last tile legally, and they would win the game. All right, well, there is Lattice. So this is, again, that family level strategy game. It's an abstract, sure, uh, but it has those cool little icons on there. You're trying to match the colors. It's pretty easy to teach, yet it has enough depth there to sort of grab gamers as well. So I think this is one of those games uh, that you can just teach people that don't play a whole lot of games, sort of in that genre field of, say, another really popular abstract game that came out a while back called Ingenious. Um, that, that still people, you see people playing that. And this kind of reminded me of that just a little bit. The scoring is completely different and things like that, but just the layer of uh, how easy it is to play, but yet the layers of depth are there. Uh, I think it plays well with two, three, and four. 
Um, I like how you, you've got those tiles. You got these decisions you make. You're trying to, you got to match when you put the, the tiles down there. And you're looking for those opportunities to really create those big combos. Sure, you're trying to not set your opponents up by placing a tile where they can place next to it to get on one of those suns to get the sun tokens. Because with those, they're going to be throwing down extra turns, which is going to make them run out sooner. You're trying to find the right time to play that wind tile, to move something over, to play a tile, and maybe get a lattice and get two of those stones. So it's this interesting thing, you're trying to get those stones and you're trading them in for extra turns, sometimes trading them for an extra wind tile to then combo a couple other turns on after that. And I like that because it's very puzzly, it's very thinky, it's definitely abstract, uh, but it's one I did enjoy and I can recommend to families looking for sort of a lighter game, uh, a quicker game, but one that still has a good amount of depth and strategy there. Um, sure, there's some luck with the wind and stuff like that, but there is a variant that you can make it so everybody has the equal amount of wins uh, to start the game and that will even things out. So overall, if you're looking for a family level abstract game that's that's pretty simple but has a little bit more going on than appears at first, then Lattice is definitely one to check out. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.